it's a, one of those rare moments in history where getting involved locally, right here in Newton, isn't just the right thing to do or the smart thing to do. It's something we must do. Meet Ruth Ann Fuller, a candidate for Newton's 2017 mayoral election. Well, I have complete confidence in the future of our city. We are living in uncertain times. So this is a moment where I believe we need a clear plan for the future. Ruth Ann is currently shaping that future on the city council and is ready to take on a greater role within the community. I decided to run for mayor to try to move the city forward. I'm passionate about this city. I love this city. By being on the city council, I had a front row seat to the many challenges facing our city, and I'm proud of the work I've done on the city council. I've been a leader on financial issues. You should know one thing about me. I'm not afraid to take on a tough issue, even if it means confronting an inconvenient truth. Dealing with tough political and social issues as a child has shaped Ruthie's life event in my childhood were the riots in Detroit in 1967. And to put it into pers perspective, 43 people were killed during the riots. As a result of that, my parents got even more deeply involved in the community. From that, I grew to understand that leadership means nothing without collaboration. Throughout history, the elected mayors of Newton has always been men. In fact, if Ruthin wins this November, she'd be the first woman elected mayor of New York. We're living kind of, I think, in interesting times if you're a woman and you're running for political office. A lot of us saw a capable woman uh, not be elected president. So I often have to think about how do I show that I'm capable and also likable. Meet Emery Dujador, Ruthin's campaign manager. She's been on the city council for eight years. She's spent over 30 years uh, having a career in all three of the public, private, and nonprofit sectors. And I don't think you can really find too many candidates running for office that have uh, such background. Um, she created the master, first master plan for WGBA, which is a great, uh, awesome public radio station. Uh, she was consulted for Fortune 500 companies before that, uh, and then spent eight years as a city councilor. Maybe this November, we'll see Ruth Ann in office putting her skills to use. For now, I'm Tiana, reporting for NNTV, signing off. This is going to be a tough race. I can't do it without you. So, I ask for your vote on November 7th.